Hello, traveler. How far you've come. How welcome you are. Come in and rest your legs. I just stoked the fire. I've heard about your journey, and also know that you still have a long way yet to go. There was a time when I, like you, was a traveler. I tried to understand what my purpose in life was, to find ways to hone my abilities. So I searched for those who could teach me, just as you sought me. Did you see any others on the 7,000 steps? No? Well, all the same, I am delighted to make your acquaintance. I've missed the company. You've heard the inhabitants of Skyrim speak of me, but it has been a long time since any of them came to speak with me. I still clear the skies from time to time. Did they tell you that? I shout to the heavens to remind the people that all is not cold and dark, that sunlight will never fail to light up the darkness in the end. But enough lollygagging and talking about the weather. Let's talk about why you've come here. Pour yourself a mug of snowberry juice and take a freshly baked sweet roll. Now I'll tell you a story. A story about the previous dragonborn. A story about a time where doom and despair filled the minds of the people. A time where the land was torn apart by war and scorched by dragons. Let me tell you my tale. It all began many years ago, after my mom and dad and I left the landscapes of Skyrim after a certain incident. We moved back to our homeland, back to the city of North Point, by the sea. My dad was a man of power and wealth, and thanks to his connections, I got a job as accountant for the North Point shipyard. I was a normal Breton, and the work I did, although profitable, was boring, to say the least. I couldn't remember much of the time before we reached North Point, but my parents were always pushing me to become just like them, to become a rich and powerful man with great connections. Fate had other plans for me though. One day, I was having some trouble with an annoying trader who kept on complaining about the way I conducted in trading matters. Things got rather heated, and we both lost our temper. Unfortunately for him, something inside me sparked, and gouts of flame erupted from my palms. Apparently I was able to use magic and cast spells. Even though Bretons are known for their magic, not everyone is capable of casting spells. Up until that, that point, the magical spark inside my body was non-existent. I scorched his body, but luckily the poor salt survived. The wizards of North Point did not allow me to explore my abilities with their help, because apparently the guy I torched was a member of the Mages Guild. The fact that I heard one of their own was not appreciated. Luckily there was one man who could not see how my potential would be thrown to waste. So he helped me. His name was Siegfried. He taught me how to use my flames to defend and learn me how to heal. He advised my parents to send me to Skyrim to the College of Winterhold to learn more about my abilities in a safe environment where people could help me. Not long after that, I was on board my very own ship the Serenity, to travel to Skyrim. That is when disaster struck. The ongoing war between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials had already caused a lot of harm to the citizens of Skyrim, and it didn't take long before it struck me. The Serenity was seized by the Imperial Navy when it passed Solitude. The soldiers were convinced I was shipping goods to the Stormcloaks in Windhelm, and they saw me as a traitor and Stormcloak scum. The Serenity was taken from me, and I, as its captain, was taken as prisoner for the Imperials. Put on a raggedy cart pulled by an old steed, I was sent towards an old Imperial prison. 
We took a slight detour towards the border to the south of Helgen, and that is where Horkadun hit the Dwemer fan. I was witness of the capture of Ulfric Stormcloak, and a few of his men walked right into the Imperial ambush. With a second card and a few new prisoners, we travelled further to the prison, but apparently the Imperials had different plans. We were on our way to Helgen again, where the chopping block was waiting. There I was, a simple accountant, wanting to learn magic, seen as a Stormcloak loyalist and sentenced to death. Imperials in their damned lists. But if I had died there, then my story would have ended. Sometimes, fate decides to give you a push in the right direction.